Good morning and welcome back. So how about this? You are seeing those houses and those condos selling left, right, center in your neighborhood. Well, clue to you living in a hot market. The question is, should you stay? or should you go? A lot of people contemplating right now. Joining us is real estate broker Jasmine Lee. Jasmine, good morning to you. Good morning, Mel. So many people, especially in the last couple of years, have been faced with that dilemma, right? Looking at the pricing, looking at the market, what do we do? So let's first talk about the Toronto neighborhoods and which ones are considered hot right now. I feel like everything is, but I know you're zoned in. <laughs> Exactly, you're right. Everything feels hot right now. However, York, Midtown have been one of the top markets due to families and clients wanting to get more space because their home has become their home office, their child care, their daycare and everything else in between. So those have been really hot markets. So, but let's talk about some of the numbers though because hot markets can translate into a lot of money, right? So let's say you live in one of these hot markets. What is the median price right now that you could potentially sell your house for? Well, right now, the market is going through a cool down, Mel, because in January, we had 3,400 listings. Now we have a little over 12,000. So we are experiencing a cool down. And that is now driving clients to look outside of the city and get more bang for their buck. But we are across the board experiencing a cooler market now that there's more inventory and available for buyers. Okay, but cooler is all relatively speaking because you know if you're a first time ho homeowner or buyer, <laughs> you're still looking at the price tag and going, I don't know if I can do yeah. this. Um, yeah. Let's just say you are living in one of these markets, as you mentioned, say the beaches, Midtown or whatnot. Um, what would be an advantage of selling now? Selling now is pretty much like hitting the lottery because then you can sell, grab another investment property, buy outside of the city, get um, more home for your uh, buck. So that's a lot of advantages of buying. You can pay off some debts. You can pay off some uh, kids' debts. You can buy additional properties. So the, the options are limitless. So it all sounds good in theory, right, Jasmine? So, but, but let's just say you go, I, I want to leave now, but I want to come back. How difficult would that be? It's really tough. Once you leave the city, it's really tough to come back to the city because the prices, you know, they're so attractive to leave the city and go outside and get more home for your buck. But then when you want to come back to the core, you're going to either right size, I call it, instead of downsizing, to get something more, you know, in zone with the, your sizing and your price now that you're coming back to the city. Yeah, there's something to say, especially as you mentioned in those pockets where you like, say, your neighbors, you like the school, you just like the feel of being downtown, but you have a little bit more space. So it's such a hard balance to try to figure out, should I stay or should I go? Let's say you want to stay. What can you do to make your space better for you and your family? Well, what's great is that now with, you know, the values increasing so much, you can take out equity to, you know, create an, an investment property where you have income coming in. You can renovate your kitchen and get huge returns. You can take out equity again, like I was saying, buy pre-construction, buy another resale property outside the city or cottage country is a big boom. There, it's just limitless right now, taking out equity to do so much with um, your portfolio, re real estate portfolio. So Jasmine, I've had this conversation with a lot of people who are having this exact conversation with their families. You know, do I leave? Do I go um, somewhere in the suburbs, get out of Toronto, whatnot? And then they say when it comes to renovations, and I want to get your expertise on this, should you or shouldn't you have the best home on the block? Well, you know what? Everybody is in a unique scenario. So what I say to clients is meet with us, meet with a realtor in your area and find out what is best for you. Do you have a plan of being in your home for the next three to five years? Do you want to, do you want to move full time to the Caribbean? Do you want to move full time to your cottage? It's really based on your individual plans. You know, is the upgrades worth it? Are you selling soon? Are you holding for a long while? So Really, it's consulting ex expert and figuring out your real estate game plan for the long term. Okay, a lot of thinking to do here. Jasmine, uh, if people want to find out more, uh, get JLT.com or at the Jasmine Lee team on Instagram for more. Thank you so much for this uh, great insight. Appreciate it. Bye. Take care. Have a great Monday.